Lucas Media. Don't forget to sh hit the like button and subscribe. And my bad if I hear my dogs drinking in the background. But I I've been trying to make this video, but I'm it's, I've been emotional about it because it hits so close to home. I'm originally from Central Illinois, so I know all about what the fuck went on. Sonya Massey of Springfield, Illinois, thought that somebody was breaking into her home or sc scoping out the property, and she ends up calling the police. You know, she does what any young lady gonna do who's by herself. You're gonna call 911. Here on the bottom left-hand corner goes there, and they see that cars was broken into, so of course they call. You know, they want to talk to her. For whatever reason, they want to go inside her home and, you know, get to questioning her, which ain't got nothing to fucking do with what was going on. Notice her, so she... Everything's all good. She's talking to the police. The pot's on. They mention the pot. She goes over there. And this motherfucker loses his mind. Excuse my language, but it is what it is. Honestly, it is what it is. So let me play this video. A quick clip. Fair use. And y'all can see what the fuck just happened. Hey. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Uh, away from your hot steaming water. Away from my hot steaming water? Yeah. Oh, I would rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I'll shoot you in the name of Jesus. You better fucking not. I swear to God, I'll fucking shoot you right in your fucking face. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Drop the fucking pot! Drop the fucking Drop the fucking pot! So as you see, she did absolutely nothing. She said, I rebuke you. The cop freaks out. He pulls his pistol. Both of them pull their pistols. She drops down. Now she drops down in a in a submissive position. And he shoots her in the face. He shoots her dead in her face. So now what? Then when other police get there, he claims that she was coming at him with hot water. And it's funny, he didn't turn his body camera footage on until after the scene luckily his partner had the footage on and unfortunately she passed away a mother a young black mother 36 years old ah this is why this is why i left that part of the state honestly this is why i left illinois because unfortunately we see stuff like this all the time you'll have people say oh man bro man they'll try to justify why the fuck he did that no that why would you shoot somebody in a submissive position somebody who's on her hands and knees dropping down now if she was white, you guarantee, I guarantee you that wouldn't have happened. I guarantee, hell, even if she would have threw the water, that wouldn't have happened. But obviously, when you look at us, you see us as less than, subhuman, automatically aggressive, and your instinct is to shoot and delete on sight. See, what they don't tell you, they don't tell you about the other part of Illinois. They really only talk about Chicago. But let me tell y'all something. Not only is Chicago still racist, but every part of Illinois is racist. When you go outside of Springfield, there are sundown towns. And a lot of times, those people are the ones who work for police departments all through the rest of Illinois. So yeah, when they see you, they automatically see you as evil. They don't look at you as human. because, And we know this because any other example, when there's other people, when there's other people, they're quick to try to talk it out. No, man, put the gun down. You shot a queen because she had a pot in her hand and she wasn't throwing it she wasn't aggressive oh my god i don't know i don't know like i said this, that, that's why i left the state why i don't want my kids to, to be raised down there because it's it's wild it's what i've experienced more wild shit in illinois than i ever did in the south ever and you would think the south was way more different way more racist way more where they judge you no 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 it was way worse back home you know so now he's been charged with first degree murder in the state of Illinois, i believe if you're convicted of first degree murder you're doing 60 years now all every day you know no no early release so yeah he going to do some time the governor already spoke out against him the community didn't spoke out against him i seen his trending on twitter so yeah it's over for him it's over for him but it's just sad that we got to see stuff like this we got to see stuff like this to happen and also george floyd was in the midwest too george floyd was in the midwest too that's what i'm saying it's, it's it is wicked up there man it's is oh my god like it i don't understand what will make you freak out you she's she's not even next to you and you open and fire so i don't know man i, I want to know what y'all think man this is just disgusting it's disturbing tell me what y'all think